as our fearless leader, Rip Esselstyn, would say, welcome my Plant Strong Peaches to this Friday's Plant Strong Live. We have Coach Amy and Coach John with us today. And uh, of course, guys, I'm Corey. I, I am just here to hype up these two amazing individuals who are actually part of a program that you might not know about. It is called the Plant Strong Coaching Program. And if you want to learn about it, I'm going to send it over to Amy so she can tell you where to go. Because the truth is, everybody needs a little support sometimes. Everybody needs a little help. Sometimes, even though we have the cleanest food line on the planet, you might need a little bit of support. So, Amy, where, where can people go to find out more about the Plant Strong Coaching Program specifically? You actually just go to plantstrong.com backslash coaching. And awesome. if you have any questions about it at all, you can hit us up in the Plant Strong community. You can drop us an email. Any way you want to talk about it, we are here to help you with answers. Now, as everybody knows, it is football season. Football season is here, and that means that you need to bring something to your party or to your table that is going to blow your mind. I see a couple people saying hi. Hey, what's going on, Alicia? She's watching on YouTube. We saw Justina. Anita's here. Thank you so much. Tuning in from Corn Country. Yep. Is everybody watching the corn viral uh, TikTok right now? It's corn! Right? No? Have you guys seen it? No. Oh, no, okay. I haven't seen it. Okay, if you if you don't follow Plant Strong on TikTok, do it now because we're doing a remix with Rip and it's going to be a parody of the viral corn video that's coming out. So, uh, yes. Somebody said California. I love it. Lots of cauliflower there, Dave. So, good stuff. Um, everything's good to go. All right, everybody's saying hi. We love all of you. Thank you so much. You had me at football. Okay. Um, I am going to ask everybody to let us know who your team is. All right. If you watch the NFL or if you watch college, now there's a, there's a debate about this. Quite honestly, our producer, Bess, she's off screen. Our producer, Bess, was actually a cheerleader for the Florida Gators. Whoa. We're, we're all right. Legit. I, I love it. I always talk about it all the time. So, yes, she that's her saying, go Gators. Go okay. Gators. <laughs> Listen. Guys, I'm going to get to the program here, okay? We're here for you. We have a guide that we want to tell you about. We're going to give you a ton of free recipes. Um, we're, not really, we're not really talking about anything today that we need you to go do except go get these recipes, all right? So with that, I'm going to hand things over to Coach Amy and John. They are going to take it from here, and I'm going to wish all of you a happy Friday, a happy weekend. Much love to everyone. We'll be back and, uh, and, and ready to go every Friday, as we always are, 2 o'clock Eastern, right here on Plant Strong. So much love to everybody. We'll see you soon. Amy, the show's yours. Well, happy National Dog Day to you, Corey, and to everybody else that's watching. It is National Dog Day, and the cool thing about that is our dogs are our very best friends, right? We have our dogs in our lives that help to keep us active, help us with keeping our, act, our habits alive and well. I walk my dog three times a day. He makes sure that I do that. He's <laughs> not going to let me forget. And ultimately, dogs can be a wonderful addition to your family. That's Mac. That's me and Mac there walking on the beach. As you can see, he's pulling me along in life. He loves his broccoli toy and he loves to sleep. He has probably the better sleep hygiene than I do. The cool thing about dogs is that in addition to all of those things, there have been many studies that show that having a dog in your life can actually extend your life. John, I see who, who's that with you there? Is that Barley? Well, it's Barley and Barley is not the official. Oh, you heard your name. Look at that. that he never listens to me. He <laughs> listens today. But Barley is not the official dog of the coaching program. That's Macklin's job. Barley's in the bullpen. He's ready if needed. But uh, yeah, so Barley, uh, Barley keeps me very, very active. Keep, he's got he's seven years old and still way too much energy for me. When I first got my dog, I, I grew up with dogs, but got my first dog by myself. And they kept saying, oh, when he's two, when he's three, he'll start to slow down. When he's four, well... I just stopped asking people anymore because he's seven and still way too much energy. So dogs are great to have in your life. They, they do keep you active for sure. They certainly do. And one of the things that my dog loves, and he doesn't hardly ever get human food, but he loves a chickpea. He loves cheesy chickpeas, but he loves pizza bones. And he loves pizza bones from our plant strong pizza crust. That's one of the things that he he will sit and he will wait patiently because he knows he's going to get a little bite of the pizza crust. And so that's, I mean, 
really, I mean, it's a good clean treat, right? It's, it's better than probably some of the dog treats that are actually on the market. But one of the cool things that we are going to do today, speaking of pizza and pizza crust, we're going to make the buffalo cauliflower wing pizza. This pizza is absolutely amazing. If you love the flavor of buffalo chicken wings, right, but you don't want to have the chicken in your life, which is perfectly fine. I actually lived in Buffalo, New York for several years, and I get the need for buffalo, buffalo wings legit. Nothing better than wings and pizza. We are going to make that plant strong today by making this cauliflower buffalo wing pizza that is perfect for every pizza party you've got coming up, especially during football season, because we all know pizza and wings go with football, right? But I, how do you do that when you are plant strong? We're going to show you how today. Amy, I was just going to say, what goes better with fall and football than buffalo wings and pizza, right? So this is absolutely a perfect time for this. And I will say, I, I know I mentioned it in, in some of our coaching calls, I'm not spice guy. I'm getting there. I'm starting it. So don't feel, don't feel like you have to have barbecue cauliflower wings. You can have barbecue, right? Yes. So oh, you can absolutely. change it up. Absolutely. And you know, one of the things that buffalo wings sort of became famous for was dipping in blue cheese, right? We're not going to make blue cheese today, but we are going to uh, make some ranch. There's ranch actually in the recipe for this ranch dressing that is made plant strong. But the best way to get the best flavors out of your ranch is to actually make it ahead of time. You want that to sit in the refrigerator at least an hour before you serve it, preferably overnight because those flavors will really bloom and develop. Plain tofu doesn't really sound very appetizing, and that's true, but the things you add to it is what makes it magic, and the ranch recipe that we are going to share with you in the Plant Strong Pizza Guide actually calls for some silken tofu. What tofu we're talking about is the shelf-stable kind that comes in a box. You're looking for the low-fat silken tofu. So it's going to be very creamy in consistency. If your tofu is grainy, you don't have the right one for the ranch recipe. So I'm going to grab the ranch recipe, our, my jar that I made um, last night. I'm going to grab that out of the fridge, and we're going to get started making this pizza. All right. Sounds good, Amy. So I just want to tell the folks while you are doing that that I – had a family get together. I'm the only one that eats this way uh, of all my family, siblings and whatnot. And I actually took the pizza that Amy made last week, right? And they actually tried it. I had a few siblings actually try it, even though it didn't have cheese on it. They were hesitant, but they tried it. And um, mixed reviews, right? Some were just like, I don't know, it's got to have cheese. And others were like, barbecue on pizza? It's got to have, you know, the red sauce. So, hey, at least I got them to try it. That was the important thing. So well, absolutely. And, you know, there's so many different ways that you can make a pizza. I remember, you know, when pineapple on pizza was like, what? Right. You were either firmly in the love pineapple on your pizza camp or the oh, my gosh, get the pineapple off my pizza camp. Right. There's not usually a middle ground there. There are so many different ways that you can make pizza. A lot of them are actually in the Plant Strong Pizza Guide. There's even dessert pizzas in there. So Get really creative with your pizza. Have fun with it. Think of your crust as the platform for deliciousness, right? You can put anything on it, whether it's going to be sweet or savory. You can make, you can cut it in half. You can actually use the pizza crust to make paninis. Pressed. Done that before too. So there's all kinds of things you can do with this. But during football season, this recipe is pretty stellar. So we're going to get started. We're going to start by making our buffalo wings, right? So we have some cauliflower there. We have the rest of our ingredients lined up. We got our herbs and spices, some plant milk. We've got our chickpea flour, which is what makes this sort of magical. And then we have some steamed carrot shreds and some celery slices that we're gonna all assemble on top of this pizza. But first, let's get busy making the cauliflower wings. All right, let's start. So Amy's gonna start doing that. And, and so pro football season starts the weekend of the 11th, right? September 11th, college football season is going this weekend. And I know, depending on the parts of the country you're from, high school season actually started last weekend here in Ohio. So football season is definitely in full swing. And, you know, as Amy was saying, and I was talking about how, you know, this is a great recipe to kind of bring people in that may not be exactly fans of plant-based. Go ahead, Amy, what you got? I've got one or three quarters of a cup of chickpea flour. Yeah, I mean, you know, whether it's football, for high school, college, or or professional football, um, or even hockey season, base, basketball season coming up, any game day that you've got, this is a great way to, to celebrate. Listen, Amy, I I know we're doing this now. It's football season, but I, 
you know, pizza is a year round thing. I think everybody loves pizza. So anytime that you can bring this recipe in or anything that's any guy, any of the pizzas that are in our pizza guide, it's a perfect time to bring that in. Barley's leaving. He's had enough. All right. <laughs> See you, Barley. Thanks for coming. Yeah, so we have yeah. our we have our garlic powder, we've got our onion powder, we've got our celery seed, we've got our crushed black pepper, uh, fresh packed black pepper in here, and we're going to add our plant milk. So basically, what we're doing here is we're going to make a batter, and the batter that we're going to make is um, for dipping the cauliflower wings in. Uh, there's a couple of different things that you can do here. So this is um, just the basic recipe. You could add if you like hot like I do. You could add. Um, chili powder or cayenne powder. You could add smoked paprika and make smoky rings. If you aren't a fan of hot and you don't want to use the Frank's hot sauce, I would add some smoked paprika in here and I would serve these up with, with barbecue sauce like John suggested. Yeah, that actually sounds delicious. I love smoked paprika. So once you have your batter, you don't want to do too much to it. So you just want to make sure that all the clumps are out. And then there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. You can individually dip pieces in, right? So take your cauliflower here. You can dip it in the batter like this, right? And then put it on your pan. Or you can put all of your cauliflower in the bowl and then just dish it out with a fork. So that's what I'm going to do because it's quicker. It's less messy. So I'm going to take <laughs> the cauliflower here. This is one head of cauliflower cut into little um, wingettes, right? And we're going to put this in the batter. Now, Amy, did you just break off the, the cauliflower or did you actually then slice them so they're they're flat on one side? Um, I did a little bit of both. It depends okay. on whether or not um, how big the pieces were. Um, but basically, you're, you're looking for pieces that um, are going to be sort of wing, wing reminiscent. How about that? <laughs> there. Wow, that's a new word. And there then, you so, Amy, you, you probably want them all to be pretty close to the same size, too, right? So they kind of cook evenly? Yep, yep. So you're okay. shooting for, you know, your typical, the typical size that you would have something like this. So this is on a tablespoon. Perfect. Okay. So once you get all of your pieces all um, dipped in the batter, you're just going to put these on a pan. So I'm going to move this over here so you can watch me do this. Move this out of the way. All right. And can you also do this on parchment paper versus the tin foil, or do you mm -hmm. think that, are you using that uh, foil that kind of crisps it up a little bit? Yep, I use the Reynolds Wrap um, silicone um, nonstick foil, but you could use a sill pack, you could use parchment paper, um, any any way you want to do this. Perfect. Whatever again, you prefer. Yeah, perfect. I mean, pizza is a great kind of thing if you've got what we call a divided household, right? Where People may not all be eating plant-based, but they can make their own toppings, add their own toppings, or try some of yours if, if you're, you know, making your plant-based pizza. So it's a, it's a great pizza bar, you know, type environment where you can just make the pizza that you love. So that's right. You know, and it, it doesn't matter if, if you're, let's say you're the only one in your household that eats this way and everybody else wants to order takeout, you can make one of these for you. And, you know, it's it's low in calorie density and it's actually really tasty, has the reminiscent of all of the flavors that you had during the standard American diet. If you were having pizza and wings, um, all of these are, are done with the idea that it's never going to be 100 percent even swap substitute. We already know that we're not trying to get the the fat and all of those things back in our diet. We just really want the essence of the flavors of the things that are familiar that we really enjoy. And so we're going to do that with this by putting the, the batter on these wings made from cauliflower. And we're going to actually put this in the oven. We're going to bake this at 400 degrees um, for 15 minutes, just like this. And then once we have 15 minutes done, we're going to take it out of the oven and we're going to put our hot sauce or barbecue sauce, whichever you're choosing to do, on top. So we're going to do that now. So you don't you don't put the hot sauce on before? No. Nope. You put it on after it's baked. All right, perfect. We're going to bake this for a little bit. It's going to bake for 15 minutes. And, and what's the oven at, Amy? What temperature? 400. And Got through it. the magic of television. <laughs> Whoa, look we've at got that. got wings ready to go. So here's what you do. So you're going to bake you're going to bake these for 15 minutes and then you're going to take out of the oven 
and then you're going to use your hot sauce to cover over top of your wings. And when you do that, you're going to put it back in the oven to bake again for another 10 minutes. This is going to make them so that they're they're perfectly tender for having on top of your pizza. It allows the, the hot sauce or the barbecue sauce to soak into the batter a little bit. And these are perfectly done and ready to top on your pizza. So I'm going to get out my pizza crust that I have toasted. I toasted it for eight minutes at 450 degrees just to crisp it up a bit so we can put our ranch dressing and load up all of our toppings. All right. Well, Jeanette just had to put in a good, uh, nice idea into the chat about in the air fryer, right? Put these in the oh, air fryer, crisp them up even a little bit more. That would be that would be delicious. So, all right, there's the pizza. Oh, Amy, this is looking so good. Well, I love making these on my pizza stone. Pizza stones get um, seasoned over time with use, and they're the perfect platform for putting together your plant strong pizzas. So, what we're going to do is we're going to spread some ranch dressing. So, this is our creamy ranch dressing here. You can see it's got all the herbs and spices and everything in there. We're going to spread this on our pizza. So this is going to be our sauce. You're going to get all of these flavors. Off. And like I said, this is not blue cheese. And I haven't <laughs> been able to figure out a way to make a blue cheese dressing that is plant strong. And that's okay because ranch is the next best thing. And this ranch dressing, this coach's ranch dressing is actually pretty amazing. Yeah. Now, oh. if you are not... If you are following Dr. Esselstyn's plan and you're not using any tofu, um, you could do this with cannellini beans, which actually blend up pretty creamy. Um, it's not going to be the same thing, though, so it's, it's going to be a little bit different, but you're going to get the same essence of all of the flavors in here. So now we've got our ranch on our pizza. And this dressing, once you make it, will keep for about a week in the fridge. All right. Now we're going to top our pizza with our cauliflower wings. So here you go. Check these out. Aren't they amazing? They look just like real wings. I know. <laughs> so we're it's gonna amazing. have this for a pizza and you're just you're gonna generously wow. top this with the with the, your cauliflower. One of the other things that I would recommend if you're making this for a crowd, do two heads of cauliflower, one for on the pizza and one for on the side, right? For dipping. Oh yeah. These make great, great snacks. And other things that you could do in addition to this is you could do to serve along for weekends, you could do, or a game day, you could do uh, our tavern mushroom recipe, which is like, um, they're kind of like deep fried mushrooms, but of course they're not deep fried in oil, they're just baked. You could do the game day twice baked potatoes, um, would be a great treat to have along with this. Um, there's all kinds of things that you can make that are super simple and super delicious, even just veggies and hummus. Because those are the kinds of things that you can serve and people aren't gonna be like, oh my gosh, you're making me eat something weird, right? <laughs> For family members who are not on plan. Right. Uh, no, this, uh, someone just asked, this is a whole wheat crust. So, and, and as far as holes, those aren't actually holes that go all the way through the crust, they're just in the top there. Yeah. And so now um, I have steamed my carrots and I even steamed the celery just a little bit so it's super tender because what we want to do here with this pizza is the crust is already pre-toasted. We're adding our ranch. The wings are already baked. So we're going to just pop this in the oven for just a few minutes just to heat up these toppings here. And then that's it. And it'll be ready to serve. So we're going to just sprinkle our carrots and our celery, right? Which if you've ever had real buffalo wings before, they're always, when you order wings, they always come with carrots, <laughs> celery, and blue cheese or ranch and uh, to go to dip your wings in. So you're getting all of the authentic flavors here of a real, real buffalo pizza and buffalo wings. That is beautiful, Amy. Yeah, I think, they, I think the restaurants give us the carrots and celery just to make it think like we're eating healthy. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that, yeah. Yeah, the, um, the original wing story from Buffalo is that uh, comes from a, a bar that was there and the, the owner of the bar's children had come home after a night out and wanted a snack. And she looked in the refrigerator and pulled out wings and buffalo or cauliflower, I'm sorry, um, carrots and celery and blue cheese dressing. That's and so, how it all started, yeah. huh? I'm sorry? That's how it all started? That's how it all started, wow. yep. There's okay. a, a, the Rooster Bar, I believe, is the bar name. Wow. And then I'm just gonna top this with some fresh cracked black pepper. I love black pepper and it makes a great 
great finish for this. And now nope, this is no red crushed red pepper, Amy. You're not going to really heat that sucker up. You know, I'm not going to add the crushed red pepper today. I think that the Franks alone adds just enough heat for this. Right. Um, and it's, um, you could make the wings hotter if you like really hot sauce or you have a favorite different hot sauce. It doesn't have to be Franks. Franks is the authentic for anybody who wanted to know. It is this Frank's hot sauce, Frank's red hot. There you go. This is the original hot sauce that was used to make the buffalo wings originally in Buffalo. Um, but you could add chalu or whatever uh, sriracha. You could use um, any other hot sauce that you really like. Um, or if you wanted to do this with barbecue sauce, like I said, I'd add some smoked paprika to the batter. And then when your wings have baked for 15 minutes, I would take them out. I would just drizzle some barbecue sauce on, put it back in the oven. You're going to bake it for another 10 minutes. And then you could top your pizza with that as well. And so this is how you make the cauliflower wing pizza. And it is super delicious. And it can be one of those things that makes you feel that you're not missing out, right? When you are a house divided, when there are other people who are eating that stuff in front of you, it can be really hard. And sometimes that's when we find people will jump off plan. I'm at the game or I'm having a big party and everybody's coming over and I don't know what to do. What am I going to eat? I don't want people giving me a hard time about my food. You saw this pizza. Is anybody going to give you a hard time about that? It looks just absolutely amazing. And you're still having the essence of all of those flavors that you love. So you don't have to miss out on anything. You can actually enjoy the flavors that you remember from football season or, or any other get together. And you can actually enjoy that plan strong without having to jump off the ship. Yeah. And I think that's, you know, that's one of the things when you're making this lifestyle change is the change in what you eat, how you eat eating in front of people that don't eat this way, answering all those questions. But a lot of it just has to do with changing your own habits, right? What is, what is good for you? What is healthy for you? And how do you get those foods more into your lifestyle and more into your habits? And, and one of the things we talk about in the coaching program a lot is creating that mindset that says, I don't care what other people are eating, right? I'm doing what's healthy for me, what's good for me. And I'm going to change my habits. I'm going to change my lifestyle to fit the way that I see myself and the way I want to see myself in the future, a healthier form of me. And, you know, again, dog day, right? Dogs are great habit formers. Just watch your dog throughout the day, the habits that they do. I know with Barley, he doesn't wear a watch, right? He can't tell time, but he knows when it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, when it's time for the walk at night, he comes and finds me. Somehow he knows. So he's got that routine in his head. And God forbid I forgot one, right? God forbid if I forget, I missed the time or I'm, a, I'm running a little late, he'll let me know. Well, you know, and that's really what all of this is about. When we talk about going plant strong, we're talking about switching out old habits for new habits, right? We are talking about adding in the things that we know are going to help us with our longevity, help us feel better and help us live the vibrant life that we really want to live. But habit building can be a little daunting because, well, we don't generally practice making habits. And sometimes it can require us to retrain the way that we think about things. The mindset of fear of missing out, for example. Obviously, if you're going to the game, I went to the Seahawks game last week and everybody around me was eating nachos. Everybody had the, the tray with all the stuff and all of the things. And I bought brought the Rips Big Bars that we made a couple weeks ago on the call. And so when I brought those, I knew I was going to have a snack with me that I could eat. I didn't really miss out on having those nachos, but I have adjusted the way that I think about those things. They're just not my food and that's okay. Everybody else can eat that stuff. I'm going to eat my food. I'm going to do it with a grin because I know it's not only going to make me feel better. It's going to help me live longer by eating all of these plants because that way I can avoid all of the standard Western diseases that we all get from, you know, uh, eating all of the fast food and really just not paying attention to what's on the label and calorie density and all of those things. So one of the things that I really love about this particular pizza is that it's going to hit all of those notes. You're still going to feel good about yourself at the end of the day. And you might even have FOMO from your friends who are staring at your pizza like, hmm, that looks really good. I never really thought of that, but hmm, maybe I could try that. And if you're really nice, maybe you'll share a slice of your pizza. <laughs> maybe, maybe. No, there's no guarantees. It depends on how good it comes out, right? Exactly. And, yeah. And one of the other things is, you know, when people make this lifestyle change, it's what do I make? How do I make it? What foods can I eat? And, and so we've got uh, plant stock coming up. I've got a camp plant stock shirt on coming up believe it or not amy two, it's only two weeks away it's crazy that it's well, right around the corner and there's going to be 
speakers all day, all weekend long, showing you how to cook this way, some of their favorite recipes throughout the whole weekend. And it is super affordable. Once again, you can watch it from your computer. It's all virtual. The whole family can watch for the price of one ticket. So don't miss this opportunity to see some people that normally you hear talking about plant-based, but now you're going to get to see them, how they eat, what they cook for dinner. And I heard, maybe maybe I heard through the grapevine, is there going to be another pizza cook-off? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's preparations going on. That You know the Esselstyns, there's a little bit of a competitive edge to oh. all of them. They're going to be making their pizzas, and um, it's not going to be a last-minute thing. There's there's some practicing going on, let's just say. I, I know how fierce the competition was with the Plant Strong Pizza Cook-Off in previous years. I think this one's going to be absolutely, absolutely epic in, in the respect that they are the most competitive people you'll ever meet, but they bring so much fun to the table. I can't wait to see what pizzas they're going to be creating. And that's the cool thing about our Plant Strong Pizza Crust is they actually come in a five pack. So whether you've got one person to feed just you or you've got a whole crowd to feed, they come in a five pack and they come with this really handy zipper bag that is inside the package that you can stash them all in in the freezer so you can pull one out when you need it. Or if you have a bunch of people over, you've now got five pizza crusts. You can whip up pizza for everybody. And don't forget, the pizza crust kit also comes with five packets of sauce. That's and right. That's the, that's the pasta sauce that everyone keeps saying, hey, plants wrong. When are you coming out with pasta sauce, right? So <laughs> this is holding you over until maybe that happens. But all I'm saying is it's delicious on your pizza. It's delicious on pasta. So, you know, if that's something you want to mix and match, go for it. Well, that's just it. I Like today, I use the ranch dressing on this pizza. I'm not using that sauce packet, but I will use that sauce packet when I make a bowl. If I've got some pasta to toss or I want to do um, little um, uh, mushrooms with peppers and onions and things like that, maybe on my epic brat. Oh, epic brat Ooh. Parmesan, right? Oh, there you go. So epic brats on an Ezekiel bun with onions and peppers and mushrooms with one of our sauce packets over it <laughs> we might have to make that on a future friday facebook live and now you guys know how amy comes up with all these amazing creative recipes right just that was literally off the top of her head so just, like just just on a whim she's like yeah we can do this so um thank you amy this was amazing what a delicious looking pizza I, I wish i was there with you to try it although it'd probably be a little spicy for me with that that uh frank's red hot but <laughs> yeah not mad i told my husband what i was doing today he's like yeah i'll have that when i get home so there yeah you go. not mad buffalo wing pizza for your football weekend extravaganzas all right so get out, support your teams. You can do it. You can stay plant-based. It's all possible. Just be positive. Think that this is planning for your future, your healthier future, right? That's what that's what being Plant Strong is all about. Any final words, Amy? You know what? Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you again on Facebook Live. We hope you are enjoying these really simple recipes that are easy to put together to give you more ideas and inspiration. If you need any more ideas or inspiration or you have any questions, please join us in the Plant Strong community where we are getting ready for plant stock. We are loading in all kinds of fun activities for you to do and new recipes are loading in all the time. I love creating things for you to make it easy and delicious to stay plant strong and I'm glad that you joined us today. I've got a pizza to put away. All right. Go team. Woo. All right, guys. Have a great weekend.